All right, hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Here we go again, another solo challenge. Uh, it's another w Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, and we are terraforming again. Um, this is probably the best Helion start that you can get. Lots and lots of heat. Let's see what the actual cards are. Now, Point Luna obviously is interested in Cartel, but there's no starting Earth Tag, so really setting yourself up for failure. A lot of ocean-based um, excellence here. Nothing that's all that interesting, if I'm honest. It's kind of like a nothing burger start. But, you know, we'll, we'll take the two more card draw and maybe we'll find something. Uh, acquired company. Oh, I didn't take cartel. I, oopsie. I thought I had clicked it. Uh, but that's fine. We'll take a little bit of money income. We'll take rotator impacts. And quite frankly, I was kind of going back and forth between cartel and my mind anyway. Um, so not taking it to me is completely fine. Like, obviously, it's a good income card if you get earth tags. But who's to say you'll get earth tags? Let's um, let's push heat. Even though I already have heat, getting up to that heat income faster will be nice. Uh, a couple cards that require science tags, maybe even Stratopolis. Three cards that all require science tags. No science tags in hand. Is that really good? Probably not, actually. Let's just hold on to our cash and maybe get Saleta. Like, not this gen, but, but soon. And we do have a Venus bump happening, which is nice. And yeah, I'm just going to hold on so I can sell out a next turn for sure. Because a ton of extra heat income is perfect for, for us right now. Let's get an ocean in the one plant spot. So we have good stuff. Giant ice asteroid we like. Building industries we like. I like having something to do with floaters. But I'd rather stay lean right now. So we'll do a heat bump. That gets us heat income. And then we sell out now, unfortunately, that screwed up my rotator impacts click. And I have no energy until I play Peroxide Power, but I think that that's okay. Like, that's quite a bit of heat that we have. Uh, and it all becomes money. I'm going to take one more heat bump, just because we're right against this. And more heat income here, and a science tag there. Great. Great, great, great. We do have some steel building up. Let's make sure that we get this um, asteroid, though. And then we can turn around and get that double steel income. And now, now we're in a good spot. So let's talk. We are Gen 4. We have 5 extra TR, 2 income. That's $7 plus $6 worth of steel. That puts us in that moderate range of... Um, like economically speaking 13 between 10 and 15 that we call mid we do have some terraforming upside though with the rotator impacts no plants no oceans except for some cards but i've buried the lead 16 heat income insanity 16 heat income that's two heat pumps per round and 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 more to come in our hand and 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 we can spend it as money later on so this is potentially an insanely good start for us uh we just have to to get there so let's get a little bit of oxygen help jovians are might be in it for us all of this terraforming and science like it's pretty good it's pretty good stuff um let's get this heat income and let's get this venus bump and yeah, we have lots of good stuff to do. It's probably time to stop buying cards because I have a lot of like end game potential already. It's more a matter of let's get this show on the road, keep pushing oxygen so we can do stuff with our other cards later. And look at that standard technology. I don't even mind this import card. So two Venus bumps though is what's standing out to me as like the thing to play. That gets us a card draw. Oh, I have to spend six heat to get this. And then five heat on a titanium mine. 
probably worthwhile. I'm going to have enough heat, and I have cards that uh, that can use, like, that will give me heat bumps. So I don't actually want to spend all my heat uh, on heat bumps at this point. Like, I have enough. Unless I get too cocky, in which case we don't have enough. But, you know, that would never happen to us. This pays itself off in three gens, but we have five gens left. It's probably not worth it if I don't actually need heat. If I'm just using it for money, it is not worthwhile. Um, I have an earth tag. I'm about to invalidate uh, extreme cold fungus. I have a bunch of steel. What to do, what to do. I could still get discount, so let's just take our Venus bump, perhaps. And a heat bump, and a heat bump, and last chance on extreme cold fungus. I have nothing to do with it. Let's, I guess, hold on and just play this asteroid mining. So we have one more turn of potential on our... On our bad lad here. I'll take another oxygen. Advanced alloys with all that metal is insane. Omnicourt is basically free. Tundra farming is also like super playable. Because we're just at that point in the game. Oh, I forgot to advance alloys first. Oopsie. I just lost a little bit of value. But yeah, there we go. We got to the minus six. So we can play Omnicourt, and we can get this little bit of plant income. Love that. Loving it. We still have a lot of steel that we'd like to use. And we have a lot of oxygen we need to get. I mean, anything that uses steel is good. Another Venus bump. Venus. All right. Um... Now it's probably time for double ocean. Double ocean gang. Maybe try and set up a pocket for us to place our, our greenery into kind of thing right here. We still have a free heat bump here. And we have this heat bump and this heat bump. So really I only need to do one more heat bump. And I don't even because I have this to play for steel. So at this point... We don't need any more heat bumps using our heat uh, that way. So what would we do with $18? Standard technology and then air scraping for the TR. Because it's double TR, 15 bucks for tube income. Seemed fine. I still need oceans, man. I might put an ocean up here. Research outpost and a cheap ocean. We love that. Commercial center. I don't need that. All right. So research outpost is first. That's a science tag using a ton of our steel. And we have a good spot for the greenery that we can place into the pocket. So far, so good. A titanium to push this. We should probably do this two-card draw and see what we get. Olympus Conference. Uh, Venus Govna. I mean, it's all fine. Like, sure. $31. We probably play the asteroid. I don't see us getting a discount at this point. It just hasn't come our way. Permafrost. For a card draw. Asteroid mining if we really want to be greedy. But, like, I don't have that much in terms of plants. We just have, like, 21 extra dollars coming in. But we do have advanced alloys, so sure. And now a comet. Or two income or a science in a plant income. Let's take this plant income because it comes with a card draw. 
investment loan. Don't really need that. I mean, I could play the Comet with it, which I mean, sure. Or wait, Comet costs titanium. Hmm. Well, a lot of this costs titanium, so it doesn't really matter. Make some ocean adjacencies and call it a day. We need a lot of oxygen, okay? So that's pretty much our focus here. We do have advanced... Or actually, we should do Venus bumps because we have advanced something. Floating habs and dirigibles are both cool. They can make us one point per turn in floaters, but I'm not going to bother. There's a bump. Hmm... Hmm. So what are we doing here? Like, I feel like we're basically just going to standard project out some greeneries here. Like, just greenery for some money back. Greenery for some money back. Greenery, money back. I mean, you're seeing it. I'm seeing it. With my two earth tags played, I get some money income. I mean, I have a lot of a lot, a lot of resources, but it's just as this we're just doing standard projects right now, you know. Air scraping, we could still get lucky and get a triple uh, Venus bump thing. So let's just get another greenery then. Yeah. I mean, we still have money left, but here we go, going into the last gen. Uh, probably take an oxygen at this point. Moss is pretty much garbage, or processor does nothing. Fish is a single point, and I have no synergies with it. And I have no card draws. Okay, well, I can pay three titanium. Or, sorry, a bunch of titanium for you, and then spend the last titanium to get that. Which is, it's fine. Um, then I buy a greenery here. That greenery goes here. I can buy a greenery back there for money. The last greenery. And I might have a little bit of money left for a city. Let's see, air scraping, what, four times? pretty painful so it doesn't look like I will have enough unfortunately that's too bad because I only have $16 left so I can just ecological in this for a pocket money back and then another point right here yeah wow I mean look we did get 63 TR just through sheer force of terraforming I'm not even sure what I did to get the bonus TR, quite frankly. I know I played the Omni Court for two. And like, yeah, just not 100 points. I mean, we are just, when you're doing 18 standard projects at the end of the game, the only reason we could win that is because of uh, a standard technology. And even then I had to do so many standard clicks. It would have been nice if we had um, some generation of resources that wasn't heat, you know, maybe some oxygen if I had gotten those cards earlier that gave energy and then I could have done oxygen bumpers. Um, perhaps I could have, like, I wanted to grab plant cards that required heat increases. We were offered algae at early on and a couple other things that didn't make sense. Had I gotten trees, had I gotten bushes, had I gotten heather, absolutely we would have gotten plants, but... It just didn't happen for us. So, 93 points. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.